Hey there, how's it going? Welcome to Loop Learnings and this is next video in the series. We are making expense, personal expense management system to be very uh, specific. And uh, in this video, we'll continue with the user interface. In the last video, we made uh, this mechanism, meaning we made uh, background form, we made uh, the sign-in form. Uh, by the way, there's no VB code right now behind these. So these are just a skeleton. And we made another form, which is kind of main form, kind of dashboard. In the last video, when I was making it, it looked very ugly. But this looks much better as compared to the previous um, version of the form that I created. So let me just quickly explain what is it if in case you have not watched the previous videos in the series. By the way, you should watch. And this is on the top is going to be a summarized view of some of the numbers. For example, budget, consumption, remaining and overall spending for this year. You know, it will be a nice idea to show the numbers right on the top. And then what we have is a little menu here. Here you can see a label with welcome username and whoever we log in they will see their name here and we have a couple of buttons first button is to create now this button is going to be used dynamically this is going to be interesting i'm sure you will see that and then a couple of buttons based on different forms and operations that we wish to perform this is a list box and uh, this is another this box is to um, populate the information that is required and now showing button is basically it's not a button sorry it's a label which will be used to dynamically operate these buttons and these uh, list box so it is going to be interesting from here um, just to see how we are going to you know build this application so th in this video I'm going to show you a little bit of VBA SQL statement will fetch the users data and will populate here and then we will uh, do the coding behind create button and then double click on so there's going to be VBA uh, if you are interested in this video so you know you stick around and keep watching until the end I hope that you will learn something in this video if you're new to my channel welcome if you're returning welcome back in any case if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet make sure that you do and hit the bell icon so you get notification whenever i upload a new video so let's get quickly started so i'm going to right click and going to go to design view and as i said we are going to fetch the users information so which means we can refer to users table so if i double click here we can see that users information like user id username email password status status date etc so we can populate exactly same table onto the uh, the list box so let's go ahead and do that what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to design view of this. I'll tell you why. Uh, so I'll click on manage users button. I'll click on event tab dot 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 code builder. And here we are in Microsoft Access VBA editor. Now in here, what are we going to do is we are going to actually, first of all, we are going to uh, populate the information what actually operation we are going to performing in this label which is lbl now showing and then we will change the caption of the button from just create to create users all right so that's the first thing we are going to uh, do so let's do the commenting and we'll say populate populate is it correct okay populate the now showing with the users and update create button caption now this is you know I, I actually usually follow this but i have not shown or demonstrated this in my video so i thought you know i will follow these best practices of commenting this because this really helps uh, in a long run so let's go ahead and do that so we'll say me dot lbl now showing dot caption the caption because it is a label that's why and we are going to uh, change the caption to users and then we are going to change the button so btn create dot caption equals create user all right that's it now we're going to copy this and we're going to paste in here and now we'll say create the sorry populate the users on on the list box all right list main because that's the name of the list box all right so now we'll say um, me dot list main dot rosos equals and we're going to use select statement and we'll say select user id all right okay you can see here in the table select user id comma username comma email comma password comma status comma status state from from where from users t all right so there's no because we are not using any where clause which means we are not fetching a specific data we're just fetching all the data from users table all right now there are some characteristics of the list box which we have to define so for example me dot list main dot column uh, column heads equals true which means the heading of the 
columns right so we want that so we'll make it true and then we'll say me dot list main dot column count so let's say how many columns we have zero one two three four five so total six columns we have and we can also define the width of each column so we'll say me dot list main dot column widths with s and then here we can define the width so for example user id is required that is mandatory uh, but for now we'll just hide it out on it so we'll say zero centimeter the first column width second is username so let's say three centimeter third is email so let's say again three centimeter i'm sure we have to come back here and we have to readjust the column width but in the start we'll just uh, make a guess and we'll see that how much uh, width we should keep status one centimeter and status state one centimeter we'll just see all right i think uh, that's it it should actually bring the data populate it on the list box so let's go ahead and check it out whether it it, it does or not so i'm going to go to form view and i'm going to click on users and there you go we can see the caption updates user the label uh, lbl now showing caption updates and the button caption also gets updated and the data is populated onto the list box now as i said i'm sure we are going to go back to vb editor and we are going to actually um, get the uh, column width corrected so we can see here um, we can increase the width of username uh, email password remains same status we can increase the width so let's mm -hmm. go ahead and uh, adjust this so i'm going to go back to vb editor so let's say instead of three i'm going to say four and the email five and um password remains same status let's say you know status i will you know i will update to 1.5 and then status date to 1.5 as well let's see so go back form view users uh, pretty much okay we can also we can still increase a little bit like status we can increase a little bit in case if the status is different then it should not overlapping to the next column so we can increase the width of status i believe all right maybe we can increase the width of the name and let's say status we can make it two all right so now we should be okay all right this looks fine okay this is kind of ocd you can see that i want to make sure that it looks aesthetically pleasing uh, i mean for me that is important okay now we are kind of halfway through of this video to be very honest next what i'm going to do is i'm going to uh, show you if i click i want to create a new user i should click on create user button and users form should open and i should be able to actually go ahead and create the user so to do that we will go back to the vb editor We'll select the create button. We'll go to the event tab in the properties, on click event dot 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 code builder, and here we are. Again, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to copy the comments, and I'm going to say if lbl if non showing is users, all right. So if it is users, then what are we going to do? So we'll say um, first of all we will say you know if condition if me dot lbl now showing dot caption equals user oops then to cmd dot open form double quote double quote users f all right users all right so not singular and we'll say end if now the reason i use end if, sorry if condition is because this is going to be dynamically used and you will see that in the future as well and so uh, you know uh, that's why i use the if condition now i also want that if i double click on any of the record in the list box i want that this form to open and i want the records that are in this uh, list box to be populated onto this form so i'm going to go to the design view and i'm going to go back uh, to the main form i'm going to select the list box um, and then i'm going to go to the event tab and on double click event dot 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 code builder and here we are okay so again first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to say here pop uh, sorry fetch fetch the users data and display on list or oh, sorry display on the form that's what we are going to do right so here again we will type the code and the code will be if me dot lbl now showing dot caption equals um users then okay again we are opening first of all users form 
first we are looking if this LVL not showing is users then we are opening the users form right so do cmd dot open form and users f the form is open now we will take the information from the list box and we will populate onto this form so if i'll go to design view you can see that the user id username email the name of this text box are exactly the same as the name of the field in the uh, table that's what i always recommend i i at least i do that and it helps me a lot in simplifying the coding so i don't have to remember what is the name of this text box you know i simply go to table and just uh, i copy and paste the name to make sure that there is no mistake so that's what you will see here so we'll say now the form is open so we'll say forms and we'll give a reference of the form users f exclamation mark the first field we are going to fetch is user id me dot list main dot column zero because this is where the user id resides now you may ask how do i know um that in this column the user id resides it's because you can see here user id is column zero so what i'm going to do is i'm going to first of all i'm going to close it with end if so i don't forget at the end now i'm going to copy this and i'm going to paste it a couple of times so rather than you looking at me typing it over and over again same thing i will simply just uh, copy and paste so we'll say username and username resides in column number one zero one right then email email resides in call number zero one two and then the next one is password password resides in column number zero one two three all right so you can see that here and then i'm going to say status status resides in what column so zero one two three four okay that's where the status resides and then we have the last column which is status date and the status state resides in 0 1 2 3 4 5 okay so that's that's about it now we should be able to fetch the record and populate it onto the form let's go ahead and test it out so i'm going to close the both form first i'm going to check are we getting the data yes we are getting the data then i'm going to check are we opening the form in editable format to create a new record so if i click on create user and i definitely get a new form with the uh, ability to add new record and then the third thing i'm going to check if uh, by double clicking i'm going to get the data fetched onto this form so let's double click and let's be sure you can see that the user id username email password everything is being fetched here uh, automatically i can see that here with the same thing with the uh, tony stark as a user as well so this is what i wanted to demonstrate in this video i think this is enough for now you know that we have set the foundation we are going to repeat the same for all the buttons that you're looking at here and so this is going to be interesting in the next video we will uh, perhaps go with the categories and the budgets and then the final one would be expenses and then we will uh, do the vb coding behind uh, login mechanism so there's a lot that is coming up and um, i'm excited hope you're excited too i hope you're learning as well if you are smash the like button and let me know in the comments below as well uh, what you're learning what you're liking what you're not liking thank you very much for supporting subscribe to the channel if you have not hit the bell icon so you get notification whenever you upload whenever i upload any video and uh, to support me and support this channel please subscribe as member to this channel thank you very much and i will see you in the next one